All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. I get this question a lot about fabric pots and grow bags. People want to know, because I grow a lot of fruit trees, I have grown a lot of fruit trees in containers, especially the figs. I always have hundreds of them every year growing in containers. And, and people want to know, Ross, what, what material do you use? Do you use fabric pots, grow bags? Do you use plastic? Uh, do you use terracotta, you know, half whiskey barrels? What is it? I have over the years, unfortunately, really not appreciated these fabric pots for a number of reasons. I really was hoping that they could replace the plastic. First off, they're typically cheaper. Uh, they actually last pretty long. That was one of the main concerns that I had in the beginning was, are they gonna last five to six years? Are they gonna last shorter than that? Is they gonna last as long as the plastic? Obviously nothing lasts as long as plastic, but uh, they do hold up their shape for many, many years. Um, and of course, plastic in our society is a big problem. So I was really, really hoping for them, but it's just not the case. You can see here on the patio with the hundreds of fig trees I have that many of them, almost all of them are in plastic nursery pots. And that's really for production, main crop fruit production. You know, if I was growing them, let's say for other reasons, I have um, quite a few two gallon size grow bags here. These are here in these pots actually because I'm growing them out to a larger size so I can graft them. I like the two gallon pot to be able to uh, have them as a nice rootstock that's actually established enough. But generally, a lot of the trees I've had actually in the past of larger sizes long term in these grow bags, they've not done well. Um, in fact, it seems what's weird is that a lot of the trees in the grow bags I have in this little infirmary area because they have a problem. And this is the area where I really try to look after closely some of the trees. Um, and so, yeah, like I said, the, the grow bags don't do well. And um, I think the main reason for that is because they don't have a consistent soil moisture. They typically either dry out too quickly because of course the bag is porous, the air comes in from the wind, drier air, uh, whereas plastic is, is obviously not porous. So the sides of the pot don't dry out very quickly. And then of course, they also get wet very quickly because if it rains, it hits the side of the pot and then the bag is very wet and the soil becomes very saturated very quickly. So you can't find the perfect balance of moisture. And when you're growing figs for production, you wanna have a consistently moist soil moisture. If you do that, you'll have the best tasting figs you can have. Um, and typically the drier it is, the better they're gonna taste. So I, uh, I don't like them for that. They also seem rather unhealthy for whatever reason that they're in these bags. So that's also a problem, something with the health of the trees. Also a negative is that when you plant them, you can't take the pot, the tree out of the pot. You have to actually cut the bag because if you just take it out, you're gonna break a lot of the roots. You're gonna cause a lot of transplant shock, a lot of damage to the root system. The one nice thing I'll argue, uh, other than the fact that the, the bags actually last a pretty good long time, is that the bags do indeed help with um, you know, root pruning long term. So that was the main goal of them and that's the main selling point, is that they're supposed to air prune the, the roots as they reach the edge, and that creates a more fibrous root system, a better root system, a stronger root system that doesn't need to be pruned or root pruned nearly as often. Um, that's certainly true, and um, I'll stand by that. But generally, again, um, there's, I think, too many more negatives for me uh, than positives. So thanks for watching this one, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and check out my other, my other videos and also the blog, figboss.com. There's so much other fig-related information there. Take care, guys.